Welcome to O'Connell School. I'm Mr. Fox, the principal. We're excited that some of our students are going to be able to take you on a tour. Have a great day. Welcome to O'Connell School. Bienvenidos. My name is Annalisa. My name is Jeffrey. My name is Ethan. My name is Caleb. My name is David. My name is Brian. We have over 520 students at our school. We have two buildings that are a part of our school campus. The east building is K-2. The west building is 3-5. Come along for our tour. The mission of O'Connell School is to create a community of lifelong learners through a challenging inquiry-based transdisciplinary program that fosters collaboration. The development of the learner profile, active learning, and international mindedness. La misión de la Escuela O'Connell es crear una comunidad de aprendices de por vida a través de un programa transdisciplinario, riguroso y basado en la investigación que fomenta la colaboración, el desarrollo del perfil del alumno, el aprendizaje activo y la mentalidad internacional. This mission statement is posted in every single classroom in our school so we never forget why we're here each day. Se puede ver nuestra declaración de misión en todos los salones para que nunca olvidemos por qué estamos aquí cada día. We believe a positive, supportive, safe, and caring environment fosters a love for learning. Embedding and reinforcing the learner profile attributes across the whole school develops a collaborative community. Incorporating student agency encourages the development of socially and emotionally confident lifelong learners. Dr. Thomas O'Connor Elementary is an integral part of our dynamic East Hartford community. The door to our school opens at 8 a.m. When students arrive, they can come in and grab breakfast before heading to their classroom to start their day. This bulletin board shows our program of inquiry for Grace K-2. All teachers and students and visitors can see what their program of inquiry is. This is the Media Center in the East Building. Our library media specialist is named Ms. O'Connell. Mr. Houghton also works in the library and helps us learn. When kids have media, they are able to check out books, use computers, and participate in makerspace activities. We have five kindergarten classrooms in our school. Um, come on into Mrs. Griffin's room to see what a typical kindergarten classroom looks like during learning station. Hoy es lunes! Hoy es lunes! We have five first grade classrooms in our school. Come on into Ms. Fleming Modi's classroom. This is what a typical first grade classroom looks like during small group instruction. We have five second grade classrooms in our school. This is Miss Robinson. Come on to her classroom to see what math looks like in a typical second grade classroom. This is Mrs. Stock's office. Mrs. Stock is our PYP coordinator. We're so proud of our ID program and our internationally minded students. Each building has a cafeteria that students eat lunch in. Check out these students eating a delicious lunch. Good morning, OC. Every day we read the morning announcements and there's always a Spanish word of the day. We love to integrate another language into our classroom routines. Today's Spanish word of the day is silla. Silla in Spanish means seat. Try to use this word in your classroom today. Have, Have a great day. day. El señor Danek es nuestro maestro de español. Él les da 
clases a todos los niños de, en español de la, esta escuela. Echemos un, vistazo, echemos un vistazo al aprendizaje que tiene lugar en su salón. Señor Danik is our Spanish teacher. He gives classes to all the students of O'Connell School. Come on in to see some language learning taking place. Okay, uno, dos estudiantes, solo dos estudiantes. Veinte. Veinte luces, amigo. Mrs. Blanches is our visual arts teacher. During art class, students can be creative and use a variety of materials to express themselves. Mr. Lawson is our physical education teacher. When we go into his class, we are able to move our bodies and use physical skills. We take music in this room with Mrs. Karen Dove. She helps us learn how to play instruments and, and sing. In the West Building, she helps us Get ready for our winter and spring concerts. Mrs. Hungerford, Mrs. Wanty, and Mrs. Lovell are the staff members that help us when social emotional problems arise. Come in to see them working with a small group of students. Think about it, and then you want to find the picture that matches the feeling. This is the bulletin board in the West Building that has our program of inquiry. We can check this bulletin board to check how our learning from inquiry progresses. Our cafeteria has lots of flags displayed on the walls. Most of our students' cultures are represented by these flags. In our school, we have five third grade classrooms. Right now, Mrs. Williams is working on a science experiment with her students. Come into her classroom to see what a science inquiry may look like. I see a lot of branches. I see water. Water. We have five fourth grade classrooms in our West Building. Right now, our fourth graders are diving into their IB units. Mrs. Zinzero's class can show you what a typical fourth grade classroom looks like. We have four fifth grade classes. We are working on our exhibition projects. Come into Mrs. Pack's room to see what a typical fifth grade classroom looks like. Our special education teacher, Ms. Miller, works with many of our students. Her classroom provides a lot of opportunities to take sensory breaks. So if you have another one, you have a teacher of support that supports the children who are learning English like me. This is Donnie who helps children create connections between their home language and English. We, our school represents many different cultures and languages. Nice. Nice. What's the word? Uh, volunteer. Volunteer, nice. right? I'm Melinda Grunert, the assistant principal of O'Connell School. We hope you enjoyed our tour today. We hope you